So I'm going to give you five methods that could increase your performance immediately. So all of these have two inclusion criteria. Number one, there has to be some scientific literature suggesting that they work. It can't just be, oh yeah, my mate once said. And number two, it has to show improved performance straight away. Not something 24 hours, two weeks or four weeks later. Something that you could implement for your workout today. Now I pre-warn you, some of these are quite obscure and you might not want to do any of them, but I'm just presenting the data for those of you who find it interesting. Use them as you wish. So number one, swearing. Subjects who repeated a swear word that they might use if they bang their hand on a table improve performance in the Wingate anaerobic power test and hand grip strength test when compared to a control word. So this swear word was personalized to the person. For example, mine might be fuck shit. Fuck shit. Number two, watching erotic videos. So subjects who watched a four minute long erotic video before their workout had improved performance in the three rep max squat test. This was also shown with aggressive or motivational training videos. Just to note, I am not justifying smartphone porn in the gym. Unless, of course, you are training at home on your own and you're doing it for scientific purposes, in which case, knock yourself out. Number three, caffeine. So caffeine has been shown to improve performance across a wide array of modalities, ranging from strength and power output right to improvements in time trial endurance events. So three milligrams per kilo of body weight has been shown to increase maximum power output on the bench and half squat tests. Number four, placebo. So national level powerlifters who were told that they were taking a fast acting steroid immediately increase their strength on the bench press, deadlift, and squat by up to 15 kilograms. Now in a follow-up test, when it was revealed that they were actually just taking placebo, a lot of their numbers actually regressed back towards baseline, even though they'd hit those numbers on their past training session. So of course the downside of this is you can't use it on yourself because you know if you're taking steroids or not, but you could potentially use it on a friend. For example, I have friends who have reported immediate improvements in the gym based off a supplement that they were taking that was definitely placebo. Ah, yes mate, fucking smash that chest workout. It was definitely the tribulus I was taking this morning. Yes, pal, I'm sure it was. And number five, citrulline malate. So eight grams of citrulline malate taken before a chest workout increase the number of repetitions in the latter sets of that workout. So what that means is if you're a power lifter and you're doing power lifting style training with long rest periods, this probably isn't gonna benefit you very much. But if you're a bodybuilder and you're doing high volume workouts with partial rest periods, you might notice a slight increase in the number of repetitions you do towards the end of your workout. So if you wanted to bundle them all together and give them a go, it would look something like this. Take some caffeine and citrulline malate before your workout. Get to the gym, maybe watch some erotic training videos in the car. Tell your mate you've just slipped him some Dianabol in his drink, and then swear throughout your workout. So of course, these tips might not work on everyone, and it isn't like you are going to double your strength immediately, but if you're looking for a little bit of an edge, they are of course worth a go. So feel free to try them out and report back. I hope you found it interesting. Thank you.